Hey, this is Phil from Saturday Morning Gaming. Thank you for staying tuned. This is Oxenfree Part 3. Check it out. Hey, just for me, I want to know. Back at the bridge, why'd you flip the switch yourself? You could have let me do it. I'm just curious. Uh, I just wanted to see what would happen, to be honest. All right. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like... Nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole thing just go- Um, this was a, a mining island before the war. And the land, you know, as you can tell, it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport, so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks and carted the coal by freight to the, um, the pier for the boats. Huh. I think I remember reading that this well is supposed to be the first thing ever, um, built, or whatever, on the island. Back in the 1600s. It doesn't have a sign or anything. It... Uh, used to, I think. You think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like, I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? Um, I think your smarts are probably about average. I guess... the national mean. The national mean? Yeah, alright, I can live with that. Guys, Jesus, it took you forever to get here. What happened? I've been scared out of my mind. Hearing things, seeing things. Hey, we came, all right? We're here to rescue you, so just be appreciative. I'm appreciative, but I can still nitpick your methods. Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Damn it, I think we're... we're looping again. Oh. Oh, really? Man, it's... there's your boy. Ren, you idiot! We had to clump all over the forest to find you. Couldn't you have met us halfway? Um... Ren? Ren! Ren, come on. What's the matter? What's he doing? Is he, like, sleepwalking? I don't know how he, like, fell asleep during all this, but... I've seen sleepwalking, okay? Michael sleepwalked, and the worst he'd do is take his pillow into the hallway. This is, like, something else. Ren? Are you in there? Come on, pal, the neighbors are here and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to, like, alarm you. Yeah, I don't want to say the word possession here, but... But... what? But he's possessed. It's possession. He's... yeah, he's clearly possessed. Well, you know, let's not jump to conclusions here, but maybe it's not that. Ren must have used this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. Last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it, so I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Kind of. go. He was standing right there. Oh god, please don't let me have screwed this up anymore.
Right. Um, crap. I don't... Maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? Ren, can you... Can you hear me? I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... We gotta do something, right? Yeah, um, any thoughts on what we could do? If I did have any thoughts on what would solve this, wouldn't that be a little weird? Well, is this is that hell of a It's doing something, but it's all I can think of to do. Jesus, Ren, are, are you... Oh, God. Talk through, child. Feels... Stretched. Better. No. Um, were, were you in Ren? Ren, kid. Home. Voice. Sometimes. But do not. Feed our dolls would never plot hurt you can't hurt you can you help us we're we're stuck here and we just want to go home home kamina we will go home all of us leave possible uh maybe but I, I don't really. Grounded. Bye. Adler. The, the Margaret. Pretty. Little. Poppy. Maggie Adler. That old woman. What does she have to do with it? Old woman was young once. We were young once. Sit still. You guys? God, Ren! Man! My heart's going like a- You're alive! I am? I am! Well, why was that a question at first? Why? Why is this- Why? Actually- Thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. And before now, the worst thing that ever happened was like, a kid would lose his shorts to the undertow. Um, we kinda did something weird. What? What do you mean? Did you... Did you curse the island? Did you curse this island, you witch, you! And we It was a mistake, okay? It was a stupid, stupid mistake, and I wish I never brought the stupid, dumb radio with, and I wish I was never born, all right? This sucks. Ontario? What? She said radio, but it doesn't matter. We just accidentally kick-started the whole hell on earth thing. Yeesh. If we don't have our skin tomorrow, I'm blaming you. God, is anyone... Is this thing working? If Don't anyone can hear this, out there, in a, whatever, I, I'm at the comm tower on Edwards Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can, what is this? I I'm trying to communicate with the... Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like... Ugh, idiot. Hey, come on, she's trying. That's, you know, maybe she'll get somewhere. Fine, she's not an idiot. She's very over her head right now. I think that was our cue then. It's kind of a shortcut back to the communication tower if we go through this fence. Shouldn't take that long. I'm glad you can make sense of this place's geography, because I'm still struggling.
man. You know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but, but that makes sense. Okay, are you still out of it? I shouldn't be paying any attention to this, no, right? No, this is, I can't believe you don't remember this. A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played and you, you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of this is sparking any synapses. Uh, sure. I, if I squint, I can kind of remember. What about it? Nothing. I don't know. I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd you do that? Um, I think she was indisposed? I just hate number two pencils, man. Anyways, she was going to retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the... Just picture, like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's a... Really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did? Well, yeah, I mean, maybe I would have done things differently now, but... You know, whatever. And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's well, all. You failed to tell me that part. Maybe that's why this is a more meaningful memory to me than you. Yeah, I think I'm with Alex on this one. She probably should have stuck around and taken that test. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? You? You're saying this? The guy who doesn't like school thinks I should have skipped my friend's concert to take an exam? Listen, it's just... Like, if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't... She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? Alright, so can anyone if no one's in the car to listen to me all you're day. All with us. God, where did Clarissa get off to? Maybe Nona's seen her on the way in, or has a clue or something. I think Clarissa She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's just tired, Ren. We're all tired. I mean, hell, I would have been tired by now if all we'd been doing was drinking and laying on the beach. Yeah, I guess. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about- When did you take a second one? How many do you even have? I ate it right when we got back to the fields. I thought you noticed. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it- You better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not, that's not nice. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, out there. Uh... It's been ghosts, Nona. Ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do! Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler! Maggie Adler? Yeah! She has a boat! Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's- Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. 
I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not gonna go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a Burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brown... Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Jonas, you know we tuned into that thing. We kicked the door open to whatever this is. Oh, give me a break. This night is like a... It's like a giant, ugly, misery stew that... Sorry. Carry on. Look, Jonas, it should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social... Uh, uh, shut up, everybody. Look, here's something cool. A phone. Let's stop making Alex uncomfortable and talk about this instead. Listen, we're all thinking what I'm saying. Jonas is clearly a total weirdo that would rather him save the day than let anyone else be right. How can you... How can you say that you're in the right? Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are we even talking about? You have no idea if there's a boat down there still. Okay, you're arguing 15 things at once now. Do the plan, trust Jonas, leave Ren, like, pick a target, or, better yet, just don't. Yeah. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Honestly? Anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Just shut up! Both of you! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean... I guess... Why this are you making me shack up with this guy? It's my friggin... Be quiet! Both of you. God, you're like puppies. You're not gonna die if I go to the grocery store for ten minutes. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This'll be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. Uh. Hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. I still need you, Jonas, okay? So keep your knee pads on, mentally speaking. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. We're still friends, Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. Good luck with the thing, Alex. That was part three of Oxenfree. Remember to buy it on Steam. I'm Phil from Saturday Morning Gaming. Please, stay tuned.